games. Good evening. This is without question one of the true cathedrals of football. Anfield, the venue tonight. My name is Derek Ray, and joining me for commentary is Stuart Robson. And tonight we've got the semi-final of the Champions League coming up for you. It is Liverpool taking on Real Madrid. Well, Derek, they don't come much bigger than this, do they? This will be a top quality game between two of the best sides in Europe. Let's hope it lives up to its billing. And underway now in this Champions League semi-final first leg. And this is how Liverpool will line up. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Andrew Robertson starts with Trent Alexander-Arnold in the fullback positions. Thiago starts alongside Fabinho in the centre of midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Spot on with that tackle. And the starting 11 for Real Madrid. Thibaut Courtois is in goal. David Alaba plays with Antonio Rudiger in central defence. Toni Kroos starts with Luka Modric in central midfield. And operating through the middle in attack today, Kari Oh, a great opportunity here. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Vinicius Junior. Toni Kroos. Darwin Nunez. Mo Salah. Must take the lead here. The importance of that tackle cannot be overstated. Modric. Really a very poor ball. Matip. Mo Salah. And reading it absolutely superbly. Vinicius Junior. Benzema. He's got the right idea with that pass. It's still alive. Well, what an opportunity, but really good defending, you've got to say. Opportunity. And a goal! The opening statement in this semi-final. How important can that prove to be? Well, as you can see, this is a wonderful strike. He makes the perfect connection, and he has so much pace on it. It's a great goal. Well, back underway. Will that goal have the effect of singing Liverpool into action? To the owner of the green car that is blocking up the emergency exit, please return to your vehicle and move it as soon as possible. Chouameni. Mendy. Now with Vinicius Junior. Can he do it? Well, not every keeper would have been that brave. Well, he read it brilliantly, didn't he? Top stuff from the keeper. Andrew Robertson. Fabinho. This is Salah. Able to skip past his man. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, but he's still got so much work to do. Just look at the strength he shows to hold off the defender and still get his shot away. That's a really good finish. So back underway. One goal apiece here. Strong but fair tackle. Gakpo. Now oh, that pass easy on the eye. And there it is! 
but hang on, the flag has gone up and it's not going to count. Well, it was a close call, but he is just offside. Good finish, mind you. Tony Kors and support available well nothing comes of it it looked promising Virgil van Dijk Gakpo could be a chance to break here looked like an effective counter attack but brilliantly red not a huge chunk of added time one minute Modric Vinicius Jr and that brings to an end the first half here at Anfield I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far well he certainly got his team back into this game with that goal because up to that point they hadn't played particularly well I think he's had a decent first half, but he'll be looking to build on his goal in the second 45. Second half of this Champions League semi-final first leg underway. And decent acreage for Real Madrid to run into. Now, who can he play it to? Chance to finish! And how well the keeper did. Well, that's just exceptional. He reacted so quickly there. Well, an opportunity here for them to get their noses in front from the corner. And fired over by Kors. Well, just the kind of save every goalkeeper would expect to make. Fabinho. Nunez. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? And Real's creative tendencies coming to the fore. Benzema. Can they forge ahead? Well, they would have done had it not been for the keeper. Well, they should be ahead now. Yes, it was a good save, Derek, but he should score from there. Let's see about the delivery. Well, the danger is still there. Alaba. Here's Modric. Chance to take the lead. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Elliot. Now with Alexander Arnold. And he saw the situation developing. Plenty of forward momentum here, but can they produce? Vinicius. Now with Benzema. And a very good challenge. Alexander Arnold. Elliot. And he read it well. Benzema. Strength and control, a big part of his game. Vinicius. Will it be? Putting them under the course. That's well blocked. Just 20 minutes remaining now. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. comes to nothing in the end really should have made more of that and it is substitution time at this juncture not just from one side but from both
Modric. Benzema. Course. Might go ahead. Oh, wonderful goalkeeping. Well, you have to say, from that sort of distance, that's a wonderful save. Played over. And danger still. Well, he stumped it out of there without much fuss. Gakpo. And the pass not finding its target. If Real Madrid could come up with a winner at this stage, it could be decisive. Matip, Fabinho now, Darwin Nunez, Henderson has it, it's a good Liverpool move in the making, Thiago, oh can you believe it, with so little time left, surely that will be the winner, amazing scenes here. Again, good run, great strength, and a composed finish under pressure. That's a top class goal. Dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. Real Madrid attacking, and they have to give it a go, with time not on their side. They got in the way of that cross. Time really is of the essence. What can they do from this situation? Corner kick delivery from Tony Kroos. And clearing is away. Well, far from the ideal pass, you've got to say. Well, now it's his final. The referee has blown his whistle. And it's advantage Liverpool going into the second leg of the tie. Yeah, that was a tight game, and I think they just about deserve their lead, but it's a slender one, and they'll certainly need to defend well in the second leg if they're to reach the final. Well, there are certain games that just appear to suit Thiago down to the ground, and fair to say, this is one such game, Stuart. Well, he was the best player on the pitch today. His movement, skill and work rate were excellent, and of course, what a time to come up with a goal.